with the CS nominee uh, vetting uh, process where the fourth and the final day of vetting of cabinet nominees. So five nominees grilled by Moses Wetangula led National Assembly Vetting Committee, cooperatives and SMM, SM, M SMEs, that is Cabinet Secretary, that is nominee weekly for Paranya, was put to task on claims of graft or Paranya, however, denied any involvement in graft, uh, adding that he had never received summons by the anti-graft body to write a statement. This as Ministry of Mining and the Blue Economy, uh, nominee that is Ali Hassan Joho, dismissed claims of being a drug dealer, expressing his willingness uh, to work uh, with the President, uh, Ruto, despite being a, uh, being a vocal you know, critique of his administration. Now, Cabinet Secretary nominee for Labour and uh, Social Protection, that is Alfred Mutoa, on his part, uh, pledged that... Um he would dispatch lawyers to the Gulf nations uh, that have labor agreements with Kenya to understand um, uh, to, to understand labor agreements with Kenya and uh, dictates of their laws and safety of Kenyans working in the Gulf. Now, the other two nominees who were grilled on Sunday were Justin Muturi, uh, Public Service and Stella Soy Langat of Gender uh, CS nominee. Let's get the details of that story. Corporate money would be very safe in my hands, Mr. Chungwa. These investigations that ESCC is talking about, are you saying here on camera on open day that you have never written any statement? I'm saying here in the camera that I have never been called to write a statement up to this moment. And when they came to my house, it was even not about corruption. The first question they asked, what business do you do with Raila Molodinga? What, what did you go to do there? I had gone to collect my phones because they had taken uh, my phones of my children. I, I know I was among the people who are post about the hustler funds. And I had not known the facts about the hustler fund until now. I've been briefed about the Hapsler Fund. I think this fund, if well, <coughs> well managed, is a fund that will take our people uh, from poverty. I did not do well in my secondary school. I got a D minus, no doubt. But Mr. Speaker, I turned that around. Today, as I sit here, I hold two degrees that are before you. Mr. Speaker, I am on my pathway to attain a master's degree from the most prestigious university in the world. And that is achieved by determination. Honorable Naisula told me, Nitaongeana. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> Only fools don't change their minds. I was going to say it in Go Kiswahili. And answer the other question. There are greater cartels in the mining industry. And Mr. Speaker, if you approve me, if you approve me, that is where I begin. Remove the cartels, remove the brokers. Mining industry in Kenya cannot be a market of speculators. We are not just about sending jobs of us, people to go overseas. We want to bring jobs here. And uh, outsourcing of jobs is an opportunity.